welcome back. I'm Jonah here with Local Gems. Today we're hanging out at Steel Pony Farm. We're gonna be uh, interviewing Mike, owner operator of Steel Pony Farms. All right, let's get to it. take it and were you able to turn it into a business when did that um I think it's funny because now so I, I'm like 11 years that I've been running this business and a lot of I mean a, a, quite a number of like young people come and work for me wanting to start their own farm mm -hmm. and I always tell them I'm like don't start it yet wait like gather some resources get some equity learn more um and I and I tell them that because I didn't really take that path. Mm. I was like, man, I want to start a farm, and I spent like a couple years on other farms, and then it was just like, I'm doing Dope it. Right in. Yeah. And I mean, I had really nothing. I had like a bike and a laptop and some shovels, and that was it. So, but anyways, that's what I did. I was like, I just really had this passion. I'm like, I want to start a farm. So fortunately for me, some family friends had a little piece of land down by Fort Normando and they offered it up to me to start out there for a couple of years. And so like largely me and a couple of friends and a shovel and we just like started breaking ground and it was like, it was hard work. It yeah. was like intense. Like Cause I, I mean, I was also really in this like in environmental mindset where I'm like I don't want to be burning petroleum to yep. grow vegetables I still love that idea but there's like certain things I've had to compromise on and so the compromise for me is now it's like I own a tractor and I own a truck and we transport our produce sometimes to Calgary and Edmonton and that kind of thing so it's like riding a bike would be pretty hard mm -hmm. uh, but the thing that I don't want to compromise on is like food quality and I don't want to be putting herbicides and pesticides and fungicides and stuff out there yeah but so anyways I mean it was just I started small it was really small that first year we had 30 members in our uh, in our box program oh, and cool. yeah and it was cool it was like experimental right like yeah. it, the stakes weren't too high if I flopped it'd be like 30 disappointed people <laughs> <laughs> um, but it went really well and then every year I've just I've grown I think it was like 30 the first year and then 60 and then 90 kind of grew by 30 and then 120 and then I started making some big jumps um, and yeah just the whole time it's like been a big learning process not just about farms but about running a business and mm. how to start managing more customers and more staff and more money and yeah yeah what are you what are you at now for for customers we've got we have about 300 weekly customers um, and some of them pick up every other week so our customer base it's like close to 500 um, and and I mean it, it, there's it's pretty like it's still small in like the grand scheme of things but for me sometimes it feels big when I've got like 500 customers who can be sending me emails about whatever you know yeah, yeah. So I spend a lot of time administrating now unfortunately have like really really good farm staff and some people who've been around for like five years oh right on. they um, get it they like they, they're good just, yeah, yeah, yeah they're like they're without them I'd, i don't know what i'd be doing yeah they like losing my mind basically <laughs> that's important to, to find the people that uh surround yourself with those people that want to i guess help you help you grow and yeah grow for themselves right yeah and i think a cool thing about this is it's so Everybody needs food, obviously, and it's like really relatable. The the idea of growing good food for yourself, your family, your community, it's like people can get invested. And so these people who've been around for a while, it's like they're not just here earning a wage. They're like, we're here connecting to all these same values of like food quality and environmental stewardship and community. So it works really, really good. Yeah. All right. That's a wrap for us. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, you like, subscribe, follow us on Instagram. Make sure you go give uh, Mike Steel Pony Farms there a uh, follow as well. Uh, check out some of his merch. Check out some of our merch. Um, yeah, stay tuned for the next one. Hopefully, we can get some more uh, local producers on. You know, I'd like to see do some uh, local beef producers, uh, some honey producers. 
Uh, hopefully we can get in touch with some of them. Stay tuned. Thanks for hanging out.